Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another video. Today's video, we're going to be showing you 10 uh, easy think thinkable beginner tricks to do to learn when you're just getting started for thinkboarding. So, yeah, let's get into it, guys. Okay, so first thing first, you need to um, get uh, how to position your fingers on the thinkboard. Okay, so you don't want to be like this, you ready? Don't want to be like that because that's just not gonna. That's not cool. And you're doing fingerboarding, so it needs to look cool, obviously. So, and then, so you need to do it on the tips of your fingers like that. And then here's the reason why. If you have your fingers all over the board like that, here's what an ollie's gonna be like. And that's not gonna be very cool, is it? So, what you need to do is do it on the tips of your fingers, because then it's a whole lot easier. Get it? So now we have that out of the way, we can get into the tricks. Okay, so number one is tray flip. Because when you first get a tech deck, you're bound to just flip the board wherever you like. So chances are, sneak little tray flip might uh, pop into there. So, uh, yeah, here's the trick. So basically how you do a tray flip is you put your fingers on the board, put one finger there and one finger there. So you flick like that and then flip like that. So you can do a kick flip. You can spin the board around whilst doing that. So it'll go like that. And that's your tray flip. So yeah. Now next trick uh, I think it took me quite a while to learn this, maybe like two weeks or so, uh, is an ollie, <clears throat> because an ollie, what you need to do is put your finger there and right about there, and you need to slide your finger up the board so it gets the momentum to uh, flip the board up into the air. Oh. Number three. Uh, this is basically the same as the Ollie, uh, but it's a fakey Ollie. That was really bad. So, what you need to do for a fakey Ollie is exactly the same thing, but um, chances are when you first get a uh, fingerboard and you try to do an Ollie, you slide it back like and I still do that because yep yeah, uh, so it's easier because you just go back and once you've got the ollie you can start doing it onto stuff like rails and do grinds and stuff like that uh, yep yeah. so that's the ollie pretty cool fake ollie is the same but yeah, that's number five. Number four uh, is the kickflip. What you do is put your fingers on there. Same finger positioning, but you put your finger at that side of the board. So like there. And you basically need to do an ollie, but flick your front finger off of the side of the board. So here's a kickflip. So number five is a fake kick flip. You do exactly the same as a kick flip. You flick your front finger off the board, but you do it whilst you're going backwards. So yeah, here's a uh, here's a fake kick flip. Number six. So number six is a 180. So here's the 180. As you can see, do that again for you. So how you can do it when you're beginning is. Uh, just do an ollie, but you really would. But when you land on the ground, just switch to being fakey. Do it really fast, because then it looks like you're doing it. So yeah, that's uh number six. Number seven is exactly the same. A fakey kick flip. So all you need to do is do a kick flip like normal, and then just switch. Um, 
and really fast. Um, yeah, and that's the fake, uh, fakey, no, um, 180 uh, kit flip. Okay, number eight is just a uh, shove it. Uh, as you can see, shove it is just basically where you shove the board. So scoop your back foot, not back foot, back finger, the board. Uh, so the board should go with it uh, like this. But if you want to go high, just do an ollie and then do it. So like that. That this one actually quite hard, like that. So yeah. Now, tr uh, oh yeah, that's it. Okay, so now trick nine. Once you've got your ollies and everything unlocked, uh, let, uh, you can do manuals. Uh, it's just quite hard to catch it, the board. So, yeah, manual. Could break some world records here. Oh, going backwards. Okay, so how to do a manual is uh, basically. Just take a obstacle away. So yeah, it's self explanatory. So then you just ollie onto it and do a manual. I probably shouldn't actually do a um tail manual, I should do a nose manual because uh it's a lot easier to do because when you do the ollie you land in the position as you can see. So nose manual and there you can do nose grind and so that's it for trick nine. For my final trick. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you learned something today. Oh uh, yeah. And make sure to like and subscribe. See you in the next one and bye.